Hello, everybody. Welcome to the 47th Seattle International Film Festival. And today's our um, conversation with uh, one of uh, the directors of one of the films in our Future Wave and Ibero-American uh, section and competition. Welcome, Casio Pereira dos Santos. Um, welcome to SIF, to this virtual SIF. Thank you so much, Abby. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to show the film at SIF. And it's a pleasure to be talking to, to you during this Q&A. Where are you, um, you know, uh, coming, you know, like right now, where are you in Brazil? Uh, currently, I'm the, the city, in the city of Uberlândia, in the state of Minas Gerais. Yes, uh, we are, uh, I, I mean, we are kind of in central Brazil uh, and that's the place which uh, it's close to Berlin that we shot Valentina. We shot cool. the movie in this area, yeah. Cool, okay, so let's go straight into Valentina. Um, Valentina is your um, debut feature uh, and it was a story that took you quite a few years, around seven years to uh, make it happen. Could mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about, you know, the inspiration, the origin of this story and uh, the process of making this film? Sure. Uh, the story started like seven years ago. Uh, my sister and I, Erika Santos, which is also the producer, uh, th by that time we had made like eight short films so far. And we decided that it was the, the right time to, to start thinking about a first feature film. So uh, the first story that I wrote to be our first feature film, uh, I, I wrote a first treatment and it was uh, th this first version, this first story, uh, it doesn't have anything to do with Valentina. It was uh, the love story between two boys, which is more related to my reality. And uh, it was a sweet love story. Uh, it, it, uh, it, it also had to do with teenagers, the same kind of the same universe, uh, all the, uh, I mean, teenage driven story. But after Erika and I read the, the, this treatment, we, we realized that that story had been told several times before. And uh, we could try to find a different angle but we also could try to find different themes uh, within the LGBT uh, universe, reality. And we decided to, to start uh, doing more research, reading, talking to friends uh, and talking to queer friends and uh, reading articles, newspapers. That's uh, when we came across uh, a, an article in the Brazilian news. Uh, it was a, it's a very, uh, we, 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 for the first time we, uh, we uh, I mean, uh, we got to, the, to this article uh, with this situation that 80% of transgender student, students in Brazil, they drop out of school because uh, the school environment is not inclusive to them. So uh, it's uh, a di uh, difficult issue and it's very important also to, to, to talk about that. And by that time, seven years ago, uh, there was no movie uh, about a, a, a transgender teenager dealing with uh, the Brazil school environment. And we decided that it was important to, to, to make this, this first feature, ab feature about this, this situation. I mean, uh, we wanted to portray uh, this story. Then we started uh, rehearse, uh, we started uh, doing more research uh, and we, we found, we created this character, Valentina. And uh, it always started this way because we wanted to bring more visibility to this important issue which is uh, th uh, that the Brazilian schools are not very inclusive for, for transgender kids, unfortunately. And, because and, and we can add, unfortunately, uh, in so many other countries, and we're even seeing here, you know, uh, some legislation that um, it's going backwards and it's mm -hmm. um, depriving uh, rights yes. that uh, we're giving, um, you know, just the, the, the rightful rights to the trans community. Um, so uh, very timely. Um, sure. And when, uh, there are two questions now. One is um, how was the casting process? Because Tiesa Weinbach, uh, the um, lead um, who is a trans herself um, and, and the rest of the cast is marvelous. That's one part of the question. But then the, the next question is, one of the things that strikes me um, more about your film is that somehow it changes the, 
you know, the usual narrative of the fate of a trans um, character. Uh, and in fact, we've shown in previous years, um, even in, you know, in, in this festival, we've shown many films that uh, center on a, a trans um, a teen or a character that eventually has a very tragic ending. Mm -hmm. uh, but in yours, um, you know, it's really a, a film that, like I said, changes that narrative. Could you tell us a little bit about both things, you know, mm -hmm. the casting and why you decided to sort of tell the story you en ended up telling? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, Erica, my sister, she was also the, the casting director. And uh, maybe four months before the shooting, we started to, to find, uh, trying to, to search for this actress. The first thing that we, we were sure is that it was very important that the main actress would be a transgender actress. So uh, because we, it was very important for the film and for us as well, because uh, representation matters a lot uh, in films like Valentina. And we decided to uh, start searching uh, for this actress. Uh, so the first thing that we did was we post some ads on Facebook and uh, Instagram. And we were searching for a transgender actress. Uh, it could be a, a natural actress without experience. And it also could be a professional act, uh, actress. And uh, we, we did these postings. Uh, so we, we started receiving several videos from all over Brazil. And we received around 50 videos uh, that were sent by transgender women, transgender teenagers and transgender women that uh, were within a certain age. And uh, uh, Chiesa was one of the, 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 the girls that sent us a video. So when we noticed Chiesa's video, Erica and I, we were just, wow, she, she's really talented and she, she has a lot of potential for this role. And uh, I mean, and Chiesa was also, she still is a YouTuber. She already had some experience, a lot of experience with, with camera, but uh, it's a little bit different because uh, the YouTube language is a little bit different from film language. And we wanted to make sure that she also had the potential to, to portray a character, but uh, with a, an atmosphere with uh, uh, some nuances that the, the film language requires for, from actresses. So we decided to invite her to our town and Erika and I, and another professional actor, we did some scenes with Chiesa, maybe two or three scenes uh, that were in the script. And after we recorded those scenes, we were totally sure that Chiesa was the, the perfect actress for, for this film. I mean, she's wonderful. Uh, it's the first time that she's uh, working on a film. Uh, and it was just, just great. To, uh, we were very, very lucky to have found her. And she just loved it. Uh, it was her first feature film, but she now she wants to 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 make other uh, features, and she wants to work uh, in theater. She's really excited about this this door that the film opened uh, to her. Yes, that's how we found her. And uh, the other question uh, is about uh, uh, the approach that we decided to to give to this film. I mean, uh, during the, the research, uh, we interviewed several transgender women and we heard here in Brazil several situations that were really difficult uh, because, I mean, they are always uh, fighting obstacles in the societies and they, I mean, we heard a lot of, a lot of sad stories, a lot of tough stories. Uh, we knew that it was important to, uh, to bring this, uh, a little bit of these stories to the film. But at the same time, we wanted to make a film that, uh, that was uh, maybe with a more hopeful ending and a hopeful approach, because I think it's important to be, to be true to reality and reality uh, is really tough to, to this community. But we also wanted to, to suggest and to, to create a story that, that had a, a positive ending. I mean, uh, we believe that it's very important for a transgender teenagers, for example, when they see themselves represented on screens, that they have uh, positive representations of, of their lives. And I mean, it's important to, to talk about reality, but it's also important to talk about the possibility. So that, that's uh, how we approach the and, in, the and indeed, um, you know, uh, going back to, you know, um, Tiesa's performance, she's already got uh, several awards. 
uh, yes. as best uh, actress, uh, one of them at uh, the uh, premiere of the film at Outfest last year, and uh, in um, a couple more fest you know, festivals. The, the film has been al already in probably 2025 uh, festivals and got uh, several um, uh, awards. And, uh, and, and that takes me to my next question, which is, you know, you've been showing the film in, in many different parts of the world. And I'd like to know, first, what was the reception in Brazil? You know, I know you've uh, shown the film in Sao Paulo, um, uh, Mix Brazil, Tiro Dentis. I mean, it's, it's been, you know, around in, in many places. Um, what was the reaction of, you know, the, 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 the Brazilian audience um, and also, what was the reaction like in India? You know, you showed the, 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 the film to um, the audience at uh, the Pune Film Festival in India. So can you tell us a little bit about that? You know, how they receive Valentina? Yes, uh, in Brazil, uh, Valentina was released at Sao Paulo International Film Festival. It was in October. And uh, I mean, it was also a virtual festival. Uh, uh, I mean, we were not able to go there and to present the, the film in person, but at the same time, the film was, show, was shown all over Brazil. So it was really nice that people, not only people from Sao Paulo, is Sao Paulo uh, so people from different cities, different audiences could watch the film. I mean, uh, because I, I believe that sometimes when the festivals, they are uh, in person, it's really great. So you have uh, maybe a full audience, you, you can see the, the, the reaction. Uh, but sometimes the, the, the festivals, they are more, uh, the, the attendance is more uh, by cinephiles and journalists. And when uh, Valentina had the opportunity to be shown to all over Brazil, I think we had a different kind of audience. It was not only the, the, this specialized audience, cinephiles, programmers, uh, journalists. It was really people from all over Brazil, from the countryside, from different states. So it was uh, really nice in this sense. And to our surprise, Valentina won the Audience Award uh, at Sao Paulo Film Festival. So it was really, really important uh, to us. It was amazing. Chiesa and Chiesa won uh, a special mention for her performance. So the, the, the premiere in Brazil couldn't be better uh, in this sense. And then uh, the film also was shown at Mix Brazil, the LGBT Film Festival in Sao Paulo, which was also great. Also virtual and, and Mix Brazil, it was, we, we had four surprises by the end of the festival. The, the film won Best Actress for Chiesa, Audience Award again, uh, and then uh, Best Script, and also another award at Mix Brazil, which was Best Feature Film. So it was a really positive response that we had here in Brazil. Wow. And what about, um, like, you know, like I said, uh, I, I believe, uh, you actually went to India. Uh, that was the yes. first time you were able to be mm. with, uh, you know, a, an audience. audience in person. Um, and what a different audience, you know. Um, yes. I'm sure, uh -huh. you know, it was an experience in itself. And But again, it was the first time after many months of showing the film virtually that you had the opportunity to show it in person. So how was that? Mm -hmm. Yes, we received this invitation to go in person to uh, International Film Festival of India in Goa. And when we got this invitation, we were a little bit afraid because, uh, I mean, we were, uh, it was Jan January, we already were dealing with the, the pandemic and we had several res restrictions when it comes to traveling and some frontiers were closed. So first of all, we were, we had the, the invitation, but we, Erika and I, we, uh, I mean, uh, we wasn't sure that it was really possible to, to travel all this, uh, to get all these flights to, flights to India, but we did it. We got the visa and we, we took those flights and we showed the film for the first time to uh, an audience inside a theater uh, very far from home. But uh, uh, I mean, it was very... Uh, maybe uh, before India, I had been one year without getting inside a movie theater, and we just got inside that theater in Goa, maybe, uh, I mean, uh, 600 seats, uh, maybe, but only half of the capacity because of the, the COVID protocols. And it was really, really exciting. Uh, that was the first time ever that I saw Valentina on a big screen. 
uh, I mean, I got really emotional, Erika too. Uh, the reaction of the, the audience was also great. People came to talk to us about uh, their impressions uh, about Valentina. Yeah, it was, it was great to, to, to have this possibility. Uh, we were a little bit afraid, but it was really worthwhile to travel that far to show the film for the first time. Uh, and, and uh, you know, one of the other things that I, I believe it, it makes this film, you know, so, you know, sort of adored by, by audiences is, you know, you made it in a way that it's, you know, and, and it, in, in, even in Seattle, we have it for future wave, we have it for younger audiences you, you know, consciously uh, wanted to make this film um, so sort of, you know, accessible uh, for, you know, very young audiences. Can you tell us about that? And also the other thing that I really like about your film is that, um, you know, not only you, uh, but many other members of your, you know, crew are part of the um, LGBT plus community. So, can you tell us, you know, who else is uh, there, you know, and, and how was that process of just, you know, getting that, uh, you know, crew together? Sure. Uh, I mean, uh, a big part of the crew uh, is made of uh, queer, uh, from the queer community. So uh, myself, Erica, and the people from the, the staff as well, some of the, the cast. Uh, I mean, we have Chiesa, which is a trans actress, and we have another, uh, we have a, a trans uh, boy that is, is playing a, a cisgender role. That was really important for the film as well. And this process of inclusion started right during the, the research of the film. We were starting to interview uh, transgender uh, uh, women to, to get their experiences about uh, real life experience to, to try to translate them into the script. And the first person that we hired was Pedro Diniz. Uh, by that time, he acted uh, as a consultant uh, for the script. Uh, and all, he, he, he also did the research. I mean, it was really important to have Pedro. And uh, another person from the trans, trans community that came on board was uh, another consultant, uh, Sofia. She, by that time, she was a psychology student. And uh, she also brought her experience to, 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 to the character and she gave us a lot of uh, really uh, nice feedbacks about the film. And uh, I mean, about the script and about uh, real life situations. And it was, a, it was really an organic process because we, we worked with um, some of the crew were, had already worked with us in our previous shorts. So it was really organic to, to build the crew, to build the cast and I mean, uh, of course, it was important that uh, uh, the, that representation uh, would be present in, in this film, but uh, we also already had a, our own community that uh, came from uh, the previous shorts. Yeah, it was really, re a really nice and uh, it was great to make this, this film with a, a wonderful cast and, and crew. And, and, and going back to the, the question I asked you about, you know, making it accessible for the young people. Yes. Because uh -huh. uh, I, I, I know you have a, you know, a, mm -hmm. in, in your director's statement, uh, pretty much everywhere, you, uh, you know, you said, you know, I wanted to make sure that this is a film that is mm -hmm. seen by the audience that, you know, needs the most this kind of, you know, uh, stories. So mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, uh, we wanted to portray this situation. I mean, uh, we wanted to portray this transgender character inside the, the school environment. Uh, the film deals with a uh, high school environment, so it was very important to us not only to make a film that uh, would entertain the audiences, that was very important, and it was very important that we could reach the young audiences like teenagers and high school teachers, uh, families, high school students, that was our main audience, and we since the, the uh, we started the script, we had this audience in mind. So it was very important that we we could communicate with this audience. Uh, it, it was important. I mean, we wanted to entertain an, an audience, of course, but we also we also wanted to make this issue more visible. Uh, this uh, lack of inclusion for trans the transgender community in Brazil. Uh, we it was really important to to tell this story, to make the theme visible. 
but at the same time uh, to make a story that uh, that could be shown at schools for example so uh, we are still working uh, trying to, to make up a, uh, a social impact plan here in Brazil as well a social impact strategy so that the film can be shown not only uh, at the, the commercial circuit at the streaming platforms but also inside uh, schools, high schools in Brazil, to teachers, students, school staff. And uh, it's, it's maybe one of our main objectives with, with this film. So it was important that the film would communicate with young audiences. And what about the, um, you know, because again, uh, you know, the, the, the lead, of course, is, is uh, Valentina and, um, you know, she's, she's the focus of the film. But the other thing that is really, you know, uh, uh, compelling about um, the world that she constructed is, you know, she is surrounded by this fantastic group of, of, of friends, and especially these two friends that she is, um, you know, starting to open up because of course, you know, it, it takes time like, you know, any teenager, because that's the other thing that makes Valentina so universal. I mean, it, it of course is a story about a trans teen, but it's really a story about a teen trying to just be, you know, herself, and uh, be accepted for you know who she is. Um, so, how about those other characters that you created? You know, um, and and that you know so ende endearing uh, characters um, that make, like I said again, the the whole story sort of flow in a way that um, you know it just you you feel for them. Yes. Uh... It, for us, it, it, it was important that Valentina could find her own community. I mean, she moves from uh, to, to another city, she moves to a conservative town, and she has to face uh, several challenges in this conservative new town. And this conservative new, new town has a lot to do with Brazilian reality nowadays. We all have a, a really conservative government, uh, Bolsonaro, he's against the LGBT rights, so it's a really tough moment that uh, Brazil is, is living nowadays. And uh, I mean, uh, Bolsonaro is there because uh, Brazilian society is also conservative. People voted on him, so uh, he kind of reflects that there is uh, these conservative people in Brazil and uh, bigots and uh, people like the, the antagonists of the movie. Uh, I mean, we have this conservative town, we have this conservative society, but I also wanted to make sure that Valentina had friends of her same age and that she would build her own community and that this community would embrace her and have uh, positive moments. And uh, we created these characters to, so that we could have, Valentina could also have her, her own community. Julio, uh, which is a gay boy that she, uh, she meets during the first day at school. Amanda as well, she's a pregnant nerd. And uh, they are all kind of outsiders. I like these characters because they are also all outsiders and everybody who is queer and have been to, to high, high school, I know. I mean, we all have these experiences of uh, finding our own community and uh, joining forces with outsiders. So that's what I wanted for, the, for these characters. I mean, we, I wanted them to, to support Valentina and they, uh, I mean, together they would be stronger because uh, reality is tough and uh, maybe if you have a community it can be a letter a, a, a bit uh, a little less difficult so that that's why i created this, those characters and i and i left it for the, the the last in terms of characters um but the mother is also yes such uh -huh. a special such an important character relationship support um Tell us a little bit more about, you know, that character and also Guta Stresser, who um, is the actress that um, stars as, uh, as uh -huh. uh, Valentina's mom. Yes, uh, we decided to create a, a mom that was supportive because we wanted to, uh, to make a little, to do a film that was a little bit different from other films. Uh, because in some stories you have uh, like the queer characters, the trans characters, not only trans but LGBT characters, sometimes they are, uh, the focus of the movie is, is the struggle between kids and parents. We wanted to make a different film and we wanted to, to create a character, to create a mother that would be supportive for Valentina. Uh, and we, we 
uh, not only we wrote the script uh, with consultants and talking to Guta, to the actors as, as well. Uh, since the script, we, we were sure that uh, this character would be, would be supportive, would be a strong character, that together they would fight together the, the system, they would fight together to get Valentina's rights. Uh, but Guta, the, the actress, Guta Stressa, she was really important to help me create this, this character, to, to bring this character to life. And uh, it was really nice because Guta and Chiesa, some, uh, some weeks before the shooting, they started talking and uh, they started to build this relationship between mother and daughter. I mean, it was already in the script somehow, but their vision was also very important to, to find, to help me find these characters. And Guta is already a very experienced uh, actress. She had been on uh, other uh, feature films, television as well. And her relationship with Chiesa was very special because Guta, the actress, also embraced Chiesa because it was the first time that Chiesa was making a feature film. And this relationship was not only in the screen, I mean, Maybe the, the relationship is sound so naturalistic, so, so natural on the screen because they also created a really nice relationship uh, uh, on the, I mean, uh, on the backstage. So it was a kind of a, a, a collective construction for, for these characters, not only Guta's characters, but Valentina's characters too. And, and it shows, it shows because um, again, um, you know, there is this sort of, great balance between all these uh, characters and the way they relate that makes you know you feel for all of them i just want to remind the audience that is um live uh watching us that the, you can uh give us questions uh have you know questions for casio please put them in the q a phil if you um have any because of course i can keep talking with uh, casio you have many more questions but if you have any questions please Feel free to write them down in the Q&A field. Um, so um, what, what is next? And you know, I know you probably can not say, but are we going to see you know, Valentina on top of this festival? What's, what's going on in terms of you know, having Valentina distributed um, uh, in, in other parts um, you know, without giving names, sure. projects? Yeah, uh, Valentina is playing very well at the, the uh, film festival circuit. We've been uh, through uh, North America, South America, uh, and Australia, uh, in Spain, India. So we had been we have been receiving very nice responses from the audiences and from festivals programmers. So it's been a, a very nice journey, and we are also starting to talk with some distributors uh, from different countries. Uh, I mean, I, by that time we, we made this film, I, our intention was to play fe at festivals at first, but we are also starting to have really nice responses for, from some distributors uh, from Japan, uh, Sweden, uh, Spain. Uh, in, in Latin America, we also have a release that's going to be announced soon, I hope. Ooh. So we, we are having very, very nice news about the possibilities for distribution for, for Valentina. It's really, really exciting. And are you working on, um, you know, uh, your next uh, film? Can you tell us anything about your, your projects, you know? Um... Yes, uh, it's still in early development, uh, but I'm starting to, to write another feature film. Uh, this time it's going to be about 50-something uh, uh, queer men. Uh, it's a, the, the characters is, are older than the characters that I, I'm used to dealing with in the previous short and also in Valentina. Uh, it's in early development, uh, but I intend to, to finish the, the script uh, in this year and start to find partners to, to make this another dream come true. I hope that it won't take much longer, but uh, we, are we are already working, yeah. So now, ho hopefully, it's not going to be seven years. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit <laughs> hopefully. shorter. Hopefully, than... maybe maybe five years. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> that's good. That's good. And 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 going back to you know making this film because of course seven years is a long time, um, uh, and um, uh, I, you know what did you learn uh, through doing this film? There was something like you know maybe you know something in terms of. Uh, 
uh, um, an obstacle that you were able to overcome or, you know, a special, um, I don't know, the production side, was it there anything that, you know, through these seven years, you were like, okay, you know, I was, of course, on, on top of finalizing that, you know, having the film ready, but, um, you know, did you change any preconceptions you have? Yes, uh, maybe the first thing that I realized uh, during the script writing and when we are trying to find this story that we wanted to, to portray, uh, maybe deep inside, I already knew that it would take several years to make this film, mm -hmm. to complete this film. So I wanted to be really sure that I really wanted to tell the story. I wanted to find why I wanted to tell the story because it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. And uh, it was very important to have this in mind in the beginning of the, the process. And maybe what I learned uh, with the process uh, is that uh, because I, I already, I was already very used to making short films and they would take just maybe five days to, to shoot or seven days or maybe a little bit more. Uh, and uh, I confess that in the beginning, I was a little bit afraid that maybe I wouldn't be able to, uh, to, to make a, a feature film uh, just with care and uh, with the, the way that I did the, short, the, the shorts. But I learned that it's totally possible. I mean, uh, the, the script may be bigger than a short film, but uh, you, you also divide tasks and you, it's, it's also very important to, to find uh, the right crew. So I, I felt uh, really uh, supported and uh, the work of collaborating with uh, the, the, act, the actors, the, the, the staff, it was really, really a really nice process. Uh, maybe I, I was a little bit afraid that uh, going through a, a difficult process such as a feature film, uh, maybe I wouldn't uh, want to make another film forever or something like this because I had already learned, uh, heard stories, terrible stories about uh, uh, film directors making their first feature films. But the experience was very nice. Everything was ru run smoothly. And I learned that uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's step by step. You, you shouldn't be overwhelmed. I mean, it's, it's totally possible to, to make a nice planning, a nice planning. And uh, if you nurture, nurture well the relationship with the actors, the, with the, the cast, the crew, it's not that difficult. It's difficult, but it's totally possible. And it, all the process wanted to, to uh, made me want, want to make another feature film several other feature films in the future. So I well, learned that, yeah, it, it's, it's not that difficult, maybe. <laughs> we're happy for that. And uh, <laughs> since we're talking about difficulties, there is a great question from someone in the audience. Um, um, he or she says, I really like how the film is filled throughout with a feeling of positivity. Was it difficult for cast and crew to keep positive while dealing with such a difficult and somehow somewhat personal subject matter. Yes, uh, we, uh, as I said, we did a, a research at the beginning of the process and we uh, interviewed around 50 uh, transgender women. And some of these stories uh, were very difficult, were very tough. And uh, it, I mean, it's the, the reality. We, we we're aware that we had to respect this reality. But at the same time, uh, it was important to, to find some stories that were hopeful because most of the, the previous stories about uh, transgender characters uh, were kind of depressing. So we wanted to make things differently. And uh, I think the challenge was uh, we were dealing with uh, a, a, a tough uh, subject. I mean, some tough uh, scenes like the scene that uh, Valentina is harassed. Mm. But uh, we created a really nice atmosphere with the with Chiesa, with Pedro, with the cast uh, and we wanted to to make sure that everybody was comfortable, everybody were feeling comfortable and uh, there was a very nice environment of, of friendship throughout the, the the whole process. I mean uh, we are dealing with uh, a delicate theme, a delicate situation but there were all, everybody knew that it was an important film to be made. It was an important message to, to be told. 
and uh, we had this friendship atmosphere. So it, it kind of felt positive in this sense that uh, everybody was trying to tell the same story. So maybe that's what uh, helped us. And, and um, regarding the funding, uh, you know, I, I, I believe and, and well, I know that the, you know, the uh, situation changed dramatically in, in Brazil. How was, because, you know, I can imagine you got this fund, the, the funding for this film um, before the present government. How, how is that uh, situation right now moving forward? I mean, uh -huh. um, in terms of new projects and especially, you know, knowing that probably your projects are going to have, you know, certain mm -hmm. subjects that are not the, the ones that are, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> here for by, yeah. by the government. Yeah, we, we got this production grant to, to, pro to film Valentina some years ago. And by that time, the government, the, the Ministry of Culture and Ancini, which is the, uh, the main uh, film agency here in Brazil, by that time, uh, some years ago, they were really supportive uh, with, filmmaker, uh, with filmmakers. For example, this grant that we got uh, was supporting uh, 10 feature filmmakers for uh, uh, film debut. So first time feature filmmakers. And uh, it was really important for us, really important for the project. Nowadays, uh, I think we are living a really tough situation because, I mean, not only because of COVID, uh, every filmmaker and producer all over the world is kind of struggling because of COVID. But here in Brazil, we also have uh, this tough reality that is related to the government. We have a very conservative government, Bolsonaro, and he, I mean, he's kind, uh, he doesn't like artists. Uh, he, he doesn't respect culture and uh, it, it's even worse because uh, he's kind of against LGBT rights. So it's not, if it's uh, difficult to make uh, feature films in general, it's also more difficult to find financing for a project that is uh, queer LGBT driven. The Bolsonaro, our president, uh, he says, he, he says things like, uh, I'd rather have a dead son than have a gay son. And uh, his, this kind of thought uh, kind of reflects the way he deals with uh, society and the queer community. And it's really difficult to make films about uh, with queer themed uh, films nowadays. It's kind of difficult. I mean, nowadays uh, all the, the film community is struggling to make next projects but there are uh, some possibilities like trying to work with uh, streamers, TV channels. What we lost was the possibility to get uh, funding to do uh, very personal stories uh, like we used to do with the, uh, the government. We had all this, these grants and everything. Uh, and today we are trying to find new paths, new investors, uh, new partners, trying to think about uh, international co-production. Uh, yeah, we, we are, I mean, it's difficult, but we are still working, we're still writing, we're still trying to, to raise funds. It, I mean, we still have to work. It's our job. I, I imagine. Um, we're, you know, about to wrap up, uh, but um, I was wondering, and I think I, you know, I've been thinking about this question, is uh, because your sister is your main producer, and you, you mentioned she was also um, your, you know, cast director. Um, how is it working with your sibling? In a, you know, in a project that takes seven years, because uh, that that's something in itself. It's an experience. Um, yes, uh, it's a very nice process to work with Erica. It was our first feature. I mean, the the difficulties and the challenges were uh, much more difficult than while we were making our short films. But we already had this profession. Not only uh, we are siblings, we, but we are also have this uh, professional relationship since the short films. So we are we are already very uh, used to to working together. So we generally try to separate uh, what's family uh, <laughs> subject and what is professional subject. Uh, I mean, when we have to work, we go to the office and we. We exchange ideas. She tells me my her opinions and vice versa. But when we are, uh, I mean, with family, we, we're kind of trying to forget about work so that we can also have a family life with our parents and other siblings. And yeah, uh, it's, it's kind of, I mean, it used to be a little bit harder to separate uh, what is family stuff and what is professional stuff. But I think nowadays we are kind of 
we, we kind of learned uh, how to do it. And it's really nice to, to work with her. She's really intelligent and supportive. And uh, it's a relationship that uh, it's good for, for her. It's good for me. It's really, it's really nice to work with her. Yeah, um, and and you know, it's it's clear that you know things work, and, and there is you know this um, loving relationship because you know it's tough, you know, working. Yeah, with, yeah, you know, it's a challenge. Having this but it's possible you know, to work separation right. of uh, you know uh, of roles. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't know if you know. I ask you a lot of questions. You know, we're running out of time. To, time um is there anything else that you you know uh want to tell us about the film or the experience the journey of making um valentina um anything that i haven't asked you but um you know you think that, that the audience uh, wants to know about you or valentina uh yes we are preparing our, our next feature film i think i already mentioned that uh yes i think we we, we are covered thank you <laughs> thank you so much well, but but uh let's let's do a little bit of promotion where um people can learn more about the film ah or, sure um you know you mentioned that uh tiesa she's a youtuber can you give us a little bit of a hint where they can find her mm -hmm. um, yes uh tiesa she has her youtube channel if you go to google and, and try to find Chiesa Weinbeck, you're going to find her YouTube channel and Instagram, and she's amazing. She she does uh, one video per week. Uh, she speaks in Portuguese, uh, but she's really communicative and she's great. I mean, uh, it's really nice if you can follow her. She, she has we, like eight eight hundred thousand followers, right? Almost eight hundred thousand followers <laughs> on YouTube. So like yeah, a, her channel is getting celebrity. huge. Yeah, really yeah. nice. And uh, when you, if you want to find more information about Valentina, we have our website. If you go to uh, www.valentinafilme.com.br, you can find their uh, screening dates and uh, the festival circuit and uh, information about the cast, the crew, and we are always updating the, the website. And also on Twitter, uh, you can go, you can check uh, Valentina Movie. You, we are also updating the, the Twitter account as well. Well, uh, again, thank you, Cassio, for um, you know being part of the festival. Thank you for Valentina. We cannot wait to see you know what's next. But we have to remind the audience. Uh, maybe someone is joining us without having seen the film. The film is going to be available throughout the festival. So make sure that you check uh, Valentina. Of course, you check. The rest of the program um, that we prepare. Thank you again, Cassio, for um, this fantastic um, time uh, and um, you know this story that um, touch uh, our our you know our hearts very dearly and uh, so timely, so timely. Thank and you. Th and thank you, everybody from Seattle Film Festival, for the opportunity to to show Valentina there. It's really amazing. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, Abby. Thank you so much.